When Social Protection Minister Valda Lawrence visited the night shelter, she got a real close-up and first-hand look at things there. Several of the residents have been there for years, some more than a decade. They are those who lived at the shelter and worked during the day. Some are ill and have nowhere else to go. One woman was discharged from the hospital and stayed at the shelter to recuperate. Others said that they are hoping to land a job as the public assistance, while helpful, cannot meet their needs. There are from all parts of the country, but the majority are from the city. Most of them claim to have no relative, while a few spoke of children who neglected them. But there are also exceptions. This woman spoke of her son. He's supposed to bring money at least every month, once a, once a month, he not bring no money for me. She, like many others, get public assistance. Just a diabetes and some pain because it's type of work for do. It's a bail pond in the water, they tell you and you in the water. Oh my. So I just put up this one to lay in soak. Former Agricola resident said that while she was young, a tree trunk hit her in the back and now she suffers from severe back pains. Her siblings are all deceased. But Jesus is there. Shirley, originally from the Essequibo coast, lived at the shelter for years. She is hoping to join her three sons in the United States, while Lilawati said that she had a nervous breakdown. By the year end or the next year I got. You're going with them? Yes, that's my grandchildren. Okay, that's very good. Yes. And that's very good. Sister Inia, I'll go by them. The one thing about here, go home back and come here mad. I come here mad. Where is home? Eh? Where is home? In Winter Falls. When so far is. Yeah. So so why are you not at home all the time? Why are you here? I have my son, right? Who's supposed to be? And then my sister home. And we do the fight. The minister found that the facilities for general use by the residents were dirty and unkempt, despite the presence of three cleaners on the staff. So when you come into your ship, you are to ensure that the residents get their meals. Yes, yeah, and check the names, make sure we have the right count. Make sure the names on the list is in tie with what the persons can be here. So how do you do the list system? Is it a free system? Yeah, the morning shift. For one person will book in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And then I come in after and I suppose to double check that. And we live in the West Bank and Lana put me out and I come in and pay. Lana will come up here. So you don't have any family? Me and I see my family, my family will put me out and I'm able to When they go to serve meals outside, they have a lot of discrimination. Sometimes they chuck the tea and give you, and chuck the bread and give you, and all kinds of things, and that is bad. And then who the feet to give two, they give two, who the feet to give one, they give one. And then you see the fetching two and three bucks kind of day for the afternoon, and go to the gift with it. And that is unfair and reasonable to be. And people living 40 years and tell you that they live in 14 and 20 years here and they have rights here and you don't have no rights, you just come here. And that is unfair because I said have to be equal rights and justice or I'd rather the building shut down. The refrigerator for the residents do not work. There is no running water in the toilet. They have to fetch to flush and several of the residents have claimed bathroom as theirs while some said that they have padlocked them to prevent others from accessing the use of the bathroom. This woman said that she's pregnant and homeless and that the meals there leave much to be desired. These people here are sick people. They will become anemic. And um, sometimes, oh, like today, lunch, we had pumpkin and egg. What pumpkin and egg can give these sick people who are troubling with their nerves? Thank you very much for being so frank. Okay, thank you very much. To see what improvement you can give to us. At least two of the women are pregnant. Reporting for Prime News, Julia Johnson.